Well hello my dear viewers, and welcome to a very special video, because today, after over 16 years of waiting, or 11, depending on how you count, another Age of Empires game is upon us, in the form of Age of Empires 4. The game that defined my childhood, the game that made me fall in love with RTS games is finally getting some much in love. And today we'll be seeing exactly how far we can push it, what kind of PC you need to enjoy this game to the fullest, and see exactly what changed since the last time we explored an Age of Empires game. Well, here it is. Can you believe it? After so many years of waiting, of hoping that this moment finally happens, and it's here. It is actually here. So now it's making us do the tutorial, but whatever. This is the perfect opportunity to see exactly how well this game performs. Because surprisingly, even though it's almost 90 gigabytes, the actual system requirements aren't that insane. So we'll be seeing exactly what it looks like now. I mean, settings-wise, there's nothing too insane. If Anti-aliasing, geometry, texture, pretty much all the features you expect. It does have HDR, which is awesome. I uh, aren't going to use it though, because I know that using HDR with OBS has some weird effects, so whatever. But we're just going to go max settings and see exactly what this game looks like. Now, one setting you'll notice it doesn't have is any kind of adaptive render scaling, be it like some internal technology or DLSS or FSR. It has none of it. And I know what some people will say. Well, it's an RTS game. It really is needed. Counter argument. I know 1800 has it. It's an RTS game. And it's much better for it. But also speaking of NVIDIA technology, there is no support for RTX real-time ray tracing. And nowadays, a AAA game without ray tracing seems a bit weird, doesn't it? Anyway, let's just crank everything to maximum and see how well we do. And I still hate the fact that some games require you to restart before you can do anything. But anyway, here we are, and this looks surprisingly good actually. I mean, look at all the details in this uh, town center over here. This is definitely a big step up from, like, let me just quickly sh show a screenshot from like age uh, three, and you see exactly what kind of glow up we're talking about here. One thing I love is all the details are in buildings, the fields that generate around the town center and everything. And while we aren't getting an FPS readout for some reason, I'd say we're definitely running at around, well, when we're standing still, like here, this is like a nice solid 60, but when we are moving around, as you can see, moving of the mouse is very sluggish. And we are dropping to, like, when I'm moving around like this, look, look at that frame rate chug. We're dropping down to like 40s, 30s, maybe even lower. That is uh, kind of disappointing. And just for context, we are running this with a Ryzen 3700X, a GTX 1080 Ti, and also 32 gigabytes of RAM. Add max settings 4K, so yeah, I'm not expecting it to run at 144 FPS or whatever, but, I mean, for a game that looks like this, it's definitely not the world's most abandoned game, I mean, just look at what the grass looks like, for example, I kind of expect a higher frame rate, especially when you move the camera around. When there's a lot of action on the screen, it is going to be uh, difficult. My ally's getting attacked already, really? Oh no, that's me. What is my guy doing? I actually haven't played as the Russian faction yet, so I have no idea what it's going to be like. Guess it's going to build some houses and, uh, hope for the best. Why is my guy going back this way when he knows there's enemy and, and he's dead? Okay, army of sheep, uh, return home. But now I want to see what a game will look like on the lowest of low settings. And this looks what uh, Age of Empires 3 looked like. Actually, look at these guys. This looks like... This literally looks like the worst in Age of Empires 3. Look at these guys. They definitely look better than 2, obviously, but I mean... Oh, this guy's cape. This guy's cape. It looks like a folded piece of paper, like someone tried to do origami and gave up halfway. We still aren't getting an FPS readout for whatever reason, but this is like a very smooth... Definitely even past 100 FPS. Definitely like 144 FPS. Surprisingly, the building itself is very detailed. Like, let me quickly build a house as well. Like, isn't that weird? Like, look, look at a building. It's nice, detailed, sort of. And then you look over at these guys. You look at the sheep and at these guys. And they look like from a completely different game. So why are the buildings so much better detailed than everything else? Oh my word, these chickens. Look at these chickens, they have like three polygons between them. <laughs> and if you have nostalgia for games like Age of Empires 3, you might even appreciate it looking a bit dated. 
Because when I think of Age of Empires, I think uh, dated graphics at this point because we haven't had a new game since uh, 2005-2011, again, depending on how you count. But this also shows that if you're playing on a pretty budget PC or even maybe the same PC you played Age 3 on, you can still probably get a good experience going with Age 4. V granted, the graphics won't look the best, but this is actually more than playable. Okay, let me bump up some of the settings to something more reasonable, and this is looking better already. Granted, this guy's cape still looks like origami, but looks like HD origami, and not just the N64 level graphics they were before. And oh my, look at this tree. That is... That is some impressive jankiness with that tree. Oh wow, that is beautifully retro looking almost. Honestly, I'm really tempted to play some of this game with these kind of graphics just because of how uh, nostalgic it makes me feel. Last thing I want to try is, I'm going to watch all of this later of course, but I want to try the campaign. There's probably going to be more units and everything, and I really want to see that, what that's going to look like. Okay, yeah, this is going to be good. Look at all these units. Can we actually like... Oh, oh wow, we actually control all these... Oh no, never mind, we just control these. <laughs> that's disappointing. But still, we're still in medium -y settings, and am I just supposed to charge up the hill? Yep, yes we are. It's actually pretty impressive, it can render so many units. Again, this is medium settings, and we are still running at a smooth, like, 100 plus FPS. This is- okay, now we gain control of all the units. This is really impressive, look how many units it can manage, while still having a pretty good FPS. That is actually- Actually really impressive. Okay, so um, I'm definitely going to play this game a bit more. In fact, if you don't see any videos on the channel for the next few days, it's because I am living, breathing, and dying this game. But graphics-wise, it looks great. And you also shouldn't have too much of a issue playing it yourself on your PC. This is really, really surprisingly well optimized. Sadly, it is missing a lot of features. It does not have FSR, DLSS, all real-time ray tracing, it has no benchmark, and those things are always... It's like, why? If you make a game nowadays, and you want that game to be relevant, and you want people like me, YouTubers, to talk about it, to put a benchmark in it, so we can actually compare performance between different CPUs and GPUs and whatnot, it makes it just so much better, and it's better for your game. So developers, whoever, whoever is listening, I'm hoping there's at least one developer watching this video, Put a benchmark in your game, please. But let me know if you're as excited for this game as I am. I need to play some more, so excuse me if I end this video now. But before I do, let me just remind you of my Patreon, which is going to be down in the video description below. Because even if you pledge just a single dollar a month, you go a long way in helping, supporting this channel, and supporting my crippling addiction to Age of Empires. I'd also like to thank the people who already support my addiction to Age of Empires, Gavin Burns, Ryan, FPB, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby, and Common Gage Clothing. Thank you guys so, so much, support truly goes a long way. Plus, there's also a Discord server if you want to talk to me, or as a Discord of Ass, really, if we could get some Age of Empires game nights going on our Discord server, that'd be amazing. So if you want to play Age of Empires 4 with me, definitely join the Discord server. Plus, and there's social media links as well. But anyway, that's how it's. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs>